Thank you, Rhea. Um, I'm Katie Trotter, uh, Fashion Director of Vogue Arabia. And yes, you're, you're correct, there are so many incredible stories behind our covers uh, over the last few years. Today I'm just going to pick four of my favourites. We'll start with our March 2018. We celebrated the milestone with two of the, of the Arab world's probably most uh, prolific models, uh, Iman and Iman Imam. Iman uh, being one of my personal heroes, uh, and obviously married to another hero of mine, David Bowie, uh, quite an exceptional woman, uh, discovered by Peter Beard in 1975, and um, fought very hard for, for equal pay uh, for models back in the day and we, we brought her together with a young 21 year old Iman Hammam, an Egyptian uh, Moroccan heritage, in a really artistic and, and poetic way. Um, you know it was, it was one of those whirlwind covers that I'll never forget. Sometimes in these moments a little bit of magic happens and, and as the two stood together in profile with their identical uh, elegant headwear there was just kind of a silence in the room, you know, because we knew that we had created something very special. Um, I know that uh, Little Aman, as we called her on set, because <laughs> there was the two of them, uh, she said to me afterwards, now I can tell my mum that I've really made it. And I, I think we'll, uh, we'll always remember that very special shoot. I think for us, it, uh, the, the, what we really wanted to resonate with the readers on this was to showcase two pioneers of, of, of fashion model from very different eras and two generations and, and, and bringing them together like that in a, in a very poignant, poignant way. Moving on to number two would be our October uh, 2019 cover with uh, the beautiful hijab model Ugbad Abdi. Her first cover actually um, and we also shot New York with the late Peter Lindbergh and uh, no one was ever to imagine that that would be his last ever cover. So it is especially important to me personally and to, and to the entire fashion industry and, and the legacy he left behind him. I feel incredibly lucky and I know Vogue Arabia feels incredibly lucky to have had the opportunity to work with, with such a rare uh, talent and, and person um, as Peter Lindbergh. Peter had the this kind of humble, gentle uh, character that managed to bring something from a character that he shot that was so powerful uh, that you could only see it through his through his wit, uh, watching his pictures. Peter would photograph a, a soul. He, he, he wasn't interested in a model or, or anything that, that was face value. He, he wanted to, to tell a story um, in his own way and, and such a raw and intimate form that, that he creates with, and it's very much between him and the subject matter. Everybody else is an observer and, and it's such an honor to have been able to, to shoot with such a master. For this cover, it's a, a real circle of life, really. It was Ugbad Abdi, um, our hijab uh, model's first ever Vogue cover, and it was Peter Lindbergh's last. Um, and there's this one picture of, of her walking away. Uh, it's very, very poignant and uh, emotional, I would say. Um, and I, that, that picture will, I will always remember and, and I think many others will as well to this day. We had a, we had a huge trailer somewhere off uh, Times Square. It was a very small team. Uh, he liked to keep things intimate on set um, and obviously we were walking around the middle of Times Square which was uh, again like just one of those kind of magical moments. Being in Abu Dhabi, it's hard to ignore our January 2018 cover with the, the megastar, uh, Nancy Ajram. Uh, we shot in the beautiful uh, Zion Arai Island and had a, a very relaxed day in, in, in a way compared to a lot of, a lot of our cover shoots. And uh, I know that she enjoyed the day and, and we, we wanted to get something from her that was pulled away from her superstardom and, and, and got sort of the feeling and allowed the reader to get to know the, the real Nancy as such. 
So April 2019 was a, a hugely important uh, cover, not only for Vogue Arabia, but for, for Vogue as a global platform and for hijab-wearing women worldwide. Um, we had Halima, who is now collaborating with Vogue Arabia as our very own diversity editor. And we had Ikram and we had Amina all come together to highlight the power of choice and to highlight uh, what modesty means on, in a modern, modern world and what modesty means to these girls, uh, to those girls uh, then and now. For this, the, the spotlight and the focus for us was the power of choice and the notion of it's, it's your body and it's your rules. Halima, uh, who had already been on her own Vogue Arabia uh, cover, spoke in her interview. I'll never forget her saying uh, it's, that it was so important to remember that wearing the hijab is a woman's personal choice. And to her it symbolized modesty and, and, a, and a sense of power. I think for, for us at Vogue Arabia and, and the importance of a cover is, is telling a narrative and challenging the narrative, challenging the modern narrative and striving to to continue to tell stories that uh, allow people to think and, and change opinion and, and learn and, and educate. And that's something that's very important to, to me uh, and I know to editorial storytelling. That's all for me today, but uh, please don't forget you can win a Vogue Gold experience where you can have an amazing time in the beautiful Abu Dhabi and be styled by the Vogue team, go to www.vogue.me for more information. Thank you.